previously on Hell's Kitchen. It's the blue menu versus the red menu. Your stations, your menu, my standard. As the red team prepped for dinner service. What have you been doing with two hours for these muscles? Two and a half hours now. The chefs had a problem with Barbie's attention to detail. Barbie, I'm a lot bigger than you, and I'm moving 10 times faster than you. But once dinner service started, you're preparing fresh garnish in a dirty pot. It was Tiffany's carelessness. Oh my God, are you kidding me? That infuriated Chef Ramsay. Why can't you get clean pans when they're standing in front of you? And sous chef Andy. You have such a fucking attitude. Why don't you take a walk? Have fun. In the blue kitchen. It's one and then two, one and then two. I just told you, two and then two. Clemenza was completely flustered. I have the other sea bass. You lying bastard. I will nail you to the post. And Robin. Just touch that. Just touch it. Push it. Couldn't figure out Justin's dish. Are you blaming me for that? I am kind of blaming you, bro. You set me up for failure. And on a night when they were cooking their own menus. Stop! All of you! The red team. I don't give a fuck if the whole team goes home tonight. And the blue team. Yeah. All of you, come here. Struggled throughout dinner service. Every table. Stop. Start. Stop. Stop, 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 stop! Get out! Tonight was the most shocking dinner service yet. There will be no winning team. During deliberations. You fucking set me up for failure, bro. And ask for help, and I asked you for fucking help, and he's denied it. Robin was in the middle of the drama once again. Robin cannot take responsibility for herself at all. She's a child. In the end, the blue team nominated Robin and Lamenza. the red team nominated Barbie and Tiffany Chef. I love Tiffany Dash. It's really hard to see her up there. But even after a passionate plea, I feel so bad. I just want to prove to you that I can do it. Tiffany, please give me your jacket. Was sent packing. Good night. Thus ending her dream of becoming head chef at Gordon Ramsay Steak at Paris Las Vegas. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Get out of here. Chef. 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 Tiffany went home, and she needed to. One by one, they're dropping like flies, and I'm still here. <laughs> she deserved to go home. <laughs> it sucks that my best friend just left. Tiffany, that's my girl, dude. Straight up. Oh, this is so difficult. <laughs> it was my dude, I man. Know, it sucks. It sucks. She helps me so much, I, I just don't even know. God, fucking bitch is still here. Tiff should not have gone home. It should have totally been Barbie's funky ass because she is not a team player. But now I gotta bang it out for Tiff. I'm gonna get that bitch out of here. Barbie's gonna be gone. I'm gonna beat this bitch's ass, dude. I know, I hear you. Now that Tiffany's gone, I feel like things just squirrel between Kimmy and I. She's definitely not happy that Barbie's still here. I'm just glad that it's not really me. But let them deal with it. I'm not on a fucking red team. I don't give a shit anymore. I care about myself and the blue team. For real, Kimmy, things are going to be all right. Oh, yeah. I'm here to win. I'm about to take the reins of this team, whether they like it or not. After a tumultuous dinner service, the chefs are more anxious than ever. Let's do this. To see what Chef Ramsay has in store for them today. Oh, shit. See this giant map. California's got avocado, Texas has got some ribs, Idaho's got potatoes. Something's gonna happen. I don't know why, but I know something's gonna happen. I've had the pleasure of traveling across the United States. And through my travels, I've been able to see Maine lobster, Maryland crab, Wisconsin cheese. Delicious. Clearly, each region has a state cuisine. And our next challenge is all about an American cuisine that I've learned to love in a big way. And that is Southern cuisine. Yeah.
Let it shine. Let it shine. I was getting down with this choir. I'm from the South, so just seeing that brought me back home. It was amazing. Let it shine. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Sylvia and the St. James. Southern Voices of Victory. Kimmy, you look at home. Oh, that was so at home right there. <laughs> I asked this lovely group here today because gospel music has its roots in the South. And today, each of you will be reinventing a classic Southern dish. I'm a little worried because Southern cooking isn't really my style. How? But I got Kimmy next to me like, going crazy. Maybe this is Kimmy's time to carry the team. Now, as you can see, our wonderful choir are holding fans with their names on. We've got blue fans, and they have a southern entree on the other side of that fan. And purple fans have a southern side dish. Clear? Yes, chef. yes chef. Barbie, who would you like to go up against in the blue team? Clemenza, chef. Both of you, step forward, please. Come on, Barbie. Clemenza. Is definitely a competitor. He's been strong during the challenges, and I want to prove it to myself and to Chef that I can take down Clemenza. Barbie, pick a name. Lady Rowe. Catfish. Yes. Clemenza. Sharon. So it's a catfish and collard greens dish that's going head to head. What the fuck is collard greens? I'm baffled at this point in time. In New York, we don't have the collard greens. <laughs> Brian, who would you like to go against in the red team? I'll take Kimmy. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Go, I'll take it. I'm going big. Let's go, bro. I want Kimmy because this is her style, and I want to beat her at her own game. I want to beat the best. Brian, you're picking first. I will take Kenny. Pork chop. It's going with Kimmy, please. Uh, Christy, give it to me. Grits. Yes. Grits. I'm so stoked. Ain't nobody had grits like mine, let me tell you. Brian, you're going to get reamed, dude. Like, I'm going to ream you. Pork chop and grits. <laughs> Brian, good luck on that one. Ooh, Next up, Christina goes up against Justin. For their entree, Christina selects. Fried chicken. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. And for their side, Justin selects. Mac and cheese. Ooh, fuck, that would be nice. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you, guys. OK. Up last are Dana and Robin. Off you go. Their I entree think... will be. Meatloaf. Thank you. With a side of. Sweet potato. <laughs> OK, good. Back in line, please. Well done. Thank you so much. Amazing. Thank you so much. Brought me home. OK, it's now time for the Southern Cuisine Battle. You will have 30 minutes, and your time starts now. Off you go. In the Southern Cuisine Challenge, Chef Ramsay is giving the chefs 30 minutes to reinvent a classic Southern entree and side. I'm going to let it shine. Oh, I want to do a hush puppy. He's looking for Southern flair. Pretty chili powder. Oh, there's your kitchen season. <laughs> With fine dining finesse. It's my grits. All right, ladies, let's bust it out. Come on, the meatloaf. I don't know how I'm going to reinvent meatloaf, but I better figure it out real damn quick. Stupid meatloaf. It's a fryer one. Clint? Yes. Don't hate on me for breaking down this chicken like shit. I never, ever make fried chicken, ever, ever, ever. I definitely have my work cut out for me. Anybody have any ideas for me? While Justin pounds away, contemplating what to do with his chicken, over in the red kitchen, Christina is considering her options as well. I don't know if I should go skin on or skin off. Skin on, dude. It'll be crispy enough. Yeah. I'm indecisive about leaving the skin on the chicken. Typically, I would leave it on, but then I'm thinking, OK, the amount of time I have, is it going to crisp up in the fryer? I'm not real sure. Did you put an egg in it? In the flat, in the batter? No. How many times ever fucking cook grits? Zero. I've never made grits. I don't know how to make them. So I'm reading the box. Three cups, four cups. I don't even, this is, some of this is in French. Um. I don't understand. Oh, you better get those on, bro. Oh, I'm gonna get murdered on these grits. Come on, Kimmy, this should be you. Yes, Chef. I have to shine on this challenge. I have to. 90 seconds to go. Yes, yes chef. chef. OK, time to go. Please cook. 
Robin, make it count. I know Chef Ramsay, he always says that I don't use enough spices. So I decide I'm gonna put some nutmeg in there, some cinnamon, and salt. And of course, I put the salt in there. I wanna taste it. 30 seconds to go. Yes, Chef. Damn, I dropped my skin off. I'm shaking so bad that I'm like knocking skin off of the chicken. I just hope that I didn't ruin it. Christina. Yes, Chef, I'm coming. Five, four, three, two, one, and serve. To judge this challenge, I've invited the editor and chief of the most critically acclaimed food site on the internet. Please welcome Tanya Steele from Epicurious. What? That's crazy. Like, Epicurious is huge. I'm like, how many forks is she going to give my dish? Let's start off with Clemenza yes, and Barbie. Let's go. Barbie and Clemenza lead off the Southern Cuisine Challenge with their take on catfish and collard greens. I did black and catfish with bacon braised collard greens. Visually, I think it's very attractive. And this is beautifully fried. Thank you. Great start. Well done, Bobby. Shit. You know, she's getting some good compliments here. Now I'm a little worried. Clemenza, please. We have New York style catfish poor boy. Also some bacon braised collard greens. Collard greens is very nice. The bacon really comes through. Catfish, I think, could have been cooked a little bit more. It's a little bit undercooked. Really? I looked at it. I didn't see what she was saying. She should have had an orgasm in her mouth, because that was a beautiful sandwich. Or is there one dish in your mind that has an advantage? Barbie's dish. Yeah, Barbie. Barbie. Yeah. Congratulations. One nil to the ladies. Yes! I got a point for the red teeth. And I, I beat Clemenza. Woohoo! Next up, pork chop. Kimmy and Brian, let's go. Come on, Kimmy. I got a banging ass plate, man. I know Brian's about to go down with my plate. Uh. I have an oregano panko crusted pork chop. The grits have cream, sauteed bacon, mm. Monterey Jack cheese, and Swiss cheese as well. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> Sounds incredible. But, I mean, visually, looks slightly dull. Anything else that came to mind or? No, I just, that's how we eat it back home. <laughs> of course. Chef Ramsay always gives me criticism on my plating. Dude, just taste the fucking shit. Wow. The grits are delicious. One of the best grits I've ever had. I could eat just buckets full of that. Pops in the mouth. They love the Kimmy's dish, so I've got my work cut out for me. Brian, please. What we have here is a southern rubbed bone-in pork chop. It's on top of buttermilk brown sugar grits. And it's a very beautiful yeah. plate. It just looks so appetizing. OK. Oh, my god. Undercooked. Damn, what a shame. Please don't eat that. You cannot serve raw pork. I almost honestly thought of, of grabbing the plate and throwing it against the wall. I'm so ashamed of what I put out there. Um, Tanya, I think I know which way you're going. Yeah, but... Kimmy. Good job, Kimmy. Good job, Kimmy. Kimmy, you make grits glamorous. Well done. Thank you, Chef. Everybody loves my grits. They're just amazing. Like, how can you say no to grits from a southern bitch? With the red team up two to nothing. Next up, the battle of the fried chicken. Let's go. Christina has a chance to clinch the victory. I made a bacon gravy, mac and cheese, and then a little fried kale chip on top. What happened with the batter? The batter, soggy. What a shame, because you think of fried yeah. chicken, you think of the coating. Exactly. But her soggy chicken leaves an opening for Justin's buttermilk fried chicken with lobster mac and cheese. Mm. Mm. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That mac and cheese is beautiful. Red or blue? I think Justin. Blue. Thank you very much. Good job. Yes. Justin's tasteful dish keeps the blue team in the game. Two to one. Last battle it is the meatloaf. With the red team leading by one, Robin must get the point over Dana to force a tiebreaker. I have an open faced meatloaf sandwich. I also made a sweet potato puree. The nutmeg really comes out in this. Yummy. Thank you. Yes! I didn't think I had that in me. Mm. I've got a huge hit of salt, though. It is salt. And it's a shame because it looks fantastic. Sorry, Chef. Damn, dude. Hopefully Dana's dish sucks. Dana, please. What I have for you is a bacon-wrapped mini meatloaf. You have the sweet potato puree and a little bit of honey for some sweetness. Visually, I mean, it's a very posh-looking meatloaf. It is very posh. <laughs> it doesn't look posh to me. It looks like two balls wrapped in fucking bacon. Oh, my god. That puree is so incredibly good. I know I'm getting the point. That meatloaf sandwich ain't got nothing on my mini meatloafs. I can taste the meat a little overpowering. A 
Touch too much lamb in there. Slightly gamey. Red or blue, bearing in mind if it's blue, it's a draw. We go to the strongest dish in each team. If it's red, they win three to one. Oh, wow. It's down to you, please. Boy, this is kind of hard. I have to go with my heart. Red. Yeah. Ladies, congratulations. Yeah! We finally won a freaking reward! We are off of our losing streak. We are off! Tanya, from the winning team, which dish sticks out in your mind as the best? I have to say, I think I'm going to go with the meatballs. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah. Dana. There you go, your Dana. recipe and dish oh, is going to be oh, featured oh. on Epicurus. Oh, my God. Oh. And that is Thank the most so visited much. food site on the internet. Nice job, Dana. It sucks. I was so close. Red team, because you won the challenge, you're also going to participate in a photo shoot with me <laughs> and Tanya. <laughs> After the photo shoot, you'll be having the most amazing lunch at the beautiful Four Seasons in Beverly Hills. Yes! Wow. We're going to Beverly Hills for lunch. I'm so excited. I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. Tanya, thank you, my darling. Thank you. See so you much. the photo shoot. Sounds good. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please. Thank you. <laughs> ladies, prepare to get pampered because our photographer is arriving. Get upstairs and get changed. Yeah, go, let's go. go. Thank you, chef. Yay! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Blue team, your day will not be so easy. You'll be prepping both kitchens ahead of tonight's dinner service. And it's not an ordinary service. It's an entire new menu. A fine dining take on Southern Cuisine. Also, we're making fresh bread and hand-churning butter. Oh, no. I really honestly don't want to fucking do punishment. You churn the butter, I'll eat the butter. You know what I'm saying? Everybody grab a churn, grab a stool, grab some cream, and start churning. Uh... Making butter by hand, you need to get this clay pot and pour some milk in there and move this stick up and down. And it takes, like, forever. I feel like the fucking Amish. We are Amish right now. Bye, guys. Oh, my god, they're making them churn butter. Check you ladies out. The red team cleans up pretty nice. They were looking good. Come on. While the blue team churns up a sweat. Push, guys, come on, push. The red team gets ready for their close-up. I am so ready to finally get a little glammed up in Hell's Kitchen. Feels like good to be winning time. again. Oh, my God. Yep. I'm a total tomboy. I don't wear makeup. I don't do my hair. I don't need it. I have natural beauty. I don't need this fucking glob of shit on my face. But what the fuck? I'll do it. Holy mackerel. Look at this. Look like at me. Charlie's Angels from the catering world. <laughs> Kimmy, you look great. Thanks, Jeff. So everybody just look at me. Big smiles, everybody. <laughs> Tana's face. Like she just found a boyfriend for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> the photo shoot was a lot of fun with Chef. He's really funny. He kept us laughing, so we were all smiles for the camera. Awesome. Bye, Bye guys. guys! Make some yummy butter. It's time to roll out. While the red team heads off to the second part of their reward, the blue team Turn the shift fast we get out to prep. is still laboring over the first part of their punishment. If you lift the stick up, you'll feel it getting heavier and heavier. Yeah, I feel it getting hard. Uh, I'm almost there. Come on, don't stop. I'll never turn my own butter ever again. It is the worst thing in the world. It sucks. Every inch of your arm it hurts. And that's why people don't do it. Uh, I am butter. Okay. We got a lot more butter coming. Butter, butter, we love butter. Oh, that's so good. Let's dig in, ladies. The Four Seasons is amazing. The five-star service, the food, it just feels great to fit wine and dine. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I kind of feel like a queen. My sweet potatoes were banging. Oh, I'm kind of a big deal, dude. That's really nice. Ooh. Dana talks a big game. And she's definitely full of herself. And I'm tired of it. Why are you staring at me? Awkward. A lot of balls. A lot of fucking balls, man. Yep. Turning butter was definitely hard, but now to roll 4,632 million little one ounce balls of bread and bake them is just fucking annoying. Clemenza, you stop eating it. Relax. No, don't tell me to relax. That's why we keep losing. Well, hey, hey, hey. Hi, guys. Hello, hello, hello. I'm on this side and you can play with my balls. Nope, thank you. Go, ladies. All right, guys. Girl, we got this. 
I'm feeling confident about the red team in our ability to put food out tonight. The blue team is looking like they're pretty tired, so as long as Barbie can check her bitch attitude at the door, we're gonna fucking rock dinner service. Let's go, ladies. Yes, Chef. It's just moments before the doors open for a special dinner service featuring Southern cuisine. No, no, blue team, quick. Quick. And Chef Ramsay wants to make sure the chefs are ready for the challenge that lies ahead. OK, tonight, for the first time in Hell's Kitchen, we are doing the most amazing southern cuisine menu. How unique is that? Yes. Excited? Yes, yes, Chef! Good. At this point in the game, we should not be making careless mistakes. Yes, yes Chef! Let's go, guys. Quick. Everything's set up for the Kimmy, if there's one person that should be absolutely key to the success of the red team tonight, it should be you. Yes, Chef. I feel like there's a lot of pressure on me because I'm from the South. I'm the only one in the house from the South. I mean, it's it's a lot of pressure. This is why you pride yourself on this style of cooking. Yes, Chef. You try to inspire your team. At this point, I'm slowly starting to freak out. I'm nervous. I have to shine. I have to. Kimmy, you can do this. Let's go, Kimmy. How long, Kimmy? Oh, my god. I'm super stoked for tonight because this is what I do every day of my life. But yet, I'm nervous because I know Chef Ramsay's going to be watching me hardcore tonight. So I just have to be ready and be on my game. Uh, James. Yes, Chef. Let's go, please. Open Hell's Kitchen. Yes, Chef. Tonight's diners arrive eager to sample Chef Ramsay's southern themed cuisine. Can I try the watermelon salad? The pecan crusted catfish. And the fried chicken. The special menu will feature a crab cake appetizer, a catfish entree, and of course, the southern staple of fried chicken. Salud. 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 Good meal. Here we go, ladies. Four covers away, table 30. Two crab cakes, one shrimp, one watermelon salad. Hey, chef. Chef. How long? Five minutes, chef. Let's go. Crab cakes, come on. I mean, what could be easier than that? Crab cake, where are they? They're coming, chef, right now. Let's go. Yes, chef, they're walking. Dana. They cook nicely, Dana. Thank you, chef. Service, please. With Dana getting the red team off to a solid start. Since Sal's ready. All right, let's go. A steady stream of appetizers makes its way to the dining room. Go, please, John. This is excellent. This is really, really good. Impressive. Meanwhile, in the blue kitchen. On order, two oysters, two crab cakes. Yes, yes, chef. chef. Chef Ramsay is looking for Justin on appetizers and Brian on fish to match the excellent start in the red kitchen. Hold on. Two minutes, Chef. In the past, I fucked up on the fish station, but I'm going to show the oysters I'm Big Daddy. Game on. Crab cakes behind you. Oysters. Where are they? Walking. Come on. They cooked to fuck. I mean, it's like a fucking ball of snot. Blue team, hey, come here, you. All of you, just touch them. Touch them, touch them. Look how cooked they are. It's like the bullets, solid bullets. They look hard, overdone, not attractive whatsoever. It looks like something a rabbit shed out. Speed up. Drop more right now. Damn it. Why did I do that? Oh, you idiot, Brian. Idiot. Oysters, walk in. Come here, chef. Brian. They're perfect. Thank you. Oh, thank God. Good, 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 good. Everything's OK. Service, please. Sure. But from now on, I need to whip ass all day, all night. Whip ass all time. Come on, keep it up. The blue team has recovered from Brian's stumble on oysters. <laughs> and the red team Go, please. has completed their appetizers with ease. Two catfish, two chicken, two meatloaf. Now, Kimmy on fish and Christina on meat are looking to do the same on entrees. How long? How long you need? I need four minutes. Four minutes is good for me. We're all communicating. Barbie, are you with her? Yes. And now it's my time to shine, so I'm about to rock this shit. Garnish, Chef. Chef walking with two chicken. Catfish. Walking now, Chef. Let's go. On your back. On your back. Come on, let's go. Fucking burn. Fuck me. Our first fucking table, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Kimmy! Oh, that's burned there. Yes, that's Chef. Burnt. Got you in three minutes, Chef. That's burnt. Got you in three minutes, Chef. Give me your best. Yes, Chef. Catfish, it's not that hard. And you're supposed to be from the South. You cannot cook, period. It's just fucked up. It's all right, Kimmy. Push through. Come on, Kimmy, please. I got the refire coming right now, Chef. While Kimmy starts over on her first order of catfish. Oh. The blue team, on order, entree, three catfish, one chicken. Yes, yes, chef. Chef. Has also moved on to entrees, led by Robin on meat and Brian on fish. How long 
in the catfish, Brian. Three minutes. Dinner service started off rough. So now I'm just trying to do anything I possibly can to make everything go smooth. Catfish, it's ready. Behind. Garnish, come on, you. Right here, chef. Coming in, this pan's hot. Right here, chef. Fuck me. Burn one side. Hey, all of you, come here. Yeah, come here. Look, no color, and look, burn. Really, dude, it's a fucking piece of fish. Like, I mean, come on. Step it up a little bit. Come here, just take a bite of that. Just take a bite. Eat it, you fuckwit. How's it taste? Tastes like fish, chef. Excuse me? Smart ass. You want to be funny now, do you? No! Yeah, you're such a dick. Brian, really? Right now is not the time to fucking crack jokes, bro. Get out. Get out. Mm. Fucking idiot. Fuck. Seriously? That was a mistake of epic proportions. I did not mean to be a smart ass. Tastes like fish. What a fucking dick. This is the first thing that came to my head. What are you doing? Go back in there and fight. Chef Ramsay wants a fighter. He doesn't want fight. somebody to be a win. He no. doesn't want someone to crack. No, I'm not. Get back in there, I'm fight. Think. I'm not going to let Chef Ramsay down. There's no fucking way. I'm going to jump back on my station and fight. Who we got working? Hey, you. Hey, come here, you fuckface. What are you doing here? Come in, come in, come I'm here. not done. Don't fucking shout at me. I'm sorry. I'm going to ask you one more fucking time. Yes. You give me a bullshit answer, that jacket's coming off, and you're going through that door home. Yes, Chef. How did that fish taste? Shit. Yeah, so why'd you give it to me? Burnt. I didn't see the bottom, Chef. I didn't see the bottom. It's not going to happen again. While Brian may have talked his way back into the kitchen, Christ, fuck. the blue team has completely stalled on entrees, and diners are getting very hungry and very unhappy. Meanwhile, in the red kitchen, two catfish, how long? A minute and a half, Chef. Kimmy makes a second attempt at her initial order of catfish. Dana, did you get that fish special back? I gave it to you. Two chicken. This is fucking ridiculous without a fucking fish special. Kimmy, urgently. Coming now, Chef, coming now. This is fucked up. Oh, whoa. You OK, Kimmy? The place is on fire, dude. The oil popped up out of the pan, burnt my side of my face really bad. Dying on two catfish. Walking now, Chef. But I got to make sure that this fish goes out right, or I'm fucked. There you go. Good, let's go. Good job, girls. Good job. With Kimmy's catfish making the grade. Service, please. Entrees are finally making their way out to excited diners. Catfish is really good. Meanwhile, in the blue kitchen. Two catfish, one chicken. Hello? Two minutes, Chef. Chef Ramsay is hoping Robin and Brian can successfully deliver their first table of entrees as well. Come on, Brian. Yes, Chef. Are you walking with garnish? Yes, one minute. One minute? Sometimes my brain gets the best of me, but I don't make the same mistake twice. So now I better have a good piece of fish or I'm in deep shit. Catfish is ready. Can I throw the chicken? Yes. Josh, help me walk on it, please. Let's go. Excuse me. Right behind. Good, let's go. We got it now, guys. We've had a rough start, but now we're rocking and rolling. The chicken is raw. All of you, all of you. That's you, you fucker. Chicken, it comes up. Raw. Raw. Fuck, Robin, really? It's pink, it's still fucking bleeding. Come on, get it right. Robin, really? Really? Raw. Hey, comedian, crack a fucking joke now. I fucking dare you. I have nothing funny to say, Chef. Start again. Blue team needs to wake the fuck up. Listen, you need help right now. Let me help you. Yes. Clemenza, how long? Give me two minutes. I had to redo all your garnish twice. I just need two time. Minutes. I don't need an explanation, please. I need two minutes. That's Thank what I you. need. Thank you. That's it. That's all I need to hear. I don't need your sarcasm either. While the blue team seems to be falling apart. Fucking tell me you don't need an explanation. Get some chicken in the oven. Make sure it's cooked. Oh, I know. Back in the red kitchen. Three catfish, one chicken away. How long? I can walk on two chicken. I can walk on two catfish. Are you good on garnish, Barbie? I'm good. The women seem to be coming together on entrees. Barbie! Garnish, yeah. let's I'm go. Gonna... Yes, chef. Because it came in. We got behind. Walking. Walking with chicken. So now everybody has to be on point. And I'm going to make sure that one of those people is me. Hey, all of you, stop. Taste that. Fucking hate. Really? really? Just taste it. Taste it. And just tell me what it needs. Ugh. Soft. 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 And we can't season food. Just look at the state of you. 
Barbie, she fucked up again, like she has in eight other services. Barbie, go home. We don't want you here. I'm taking the mac and cheese on this side. Dude, finish what you're doing. OK. While the red team suffers another setback on their second table of entrees. Can we get past the second ticket tonight? In the blue kitchen. Three chicken, one catfish. How long? Chef Ramsay is still looking for some form of an update. Any news? Uh, any, uh, any time? Uh... Yeah, it's coming right now, chef. One chicken's coming first. I need to bounce back for my team. I'm better than friggin' raw chicken. Much better. I'm not going to be the weakest link. Hi. I mean, fuck me. Yeah. Hey. Really? You, 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 come in. Hey, look, raw. That's... Do I have to really serve that in? Madness! Get out. Don't kick them out, Chef. Just kick me out. Listen. Yes, yeah, Chef. Don't you fucking dare tell me what to do. Yes, yeah, Chef. You, 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 you. Fuck off. Fuck! I fucking hate this damn chicken. Get out! We are fucked here. Well, it's gonna be a while till we see any food in our demo. <laughs> All right. We gotta do the walk of shame again. I'm embarrassed. I'm fucking mortified. I don't wanna fucking go. You just, you panicked. That's the problem. You would just. You are all over. You got me nervous. With diners waiting and no chefs in the blue kitchen, Chef Ramsay is desperate to get some good news in the red kitchen. Two catfish, two chicken. How long? How long you need, Christina? Talk to me. Yeah, I'm ready. Walking with garnish. Walking with chicken. Walking now. Chef Ramsay is like really pissed off right now. And so we gotta bring it. If not, we're screwed. Come on, guys. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I could cry. I could just, I could just cry. Oh, fuck. Stop. Come here, you. Let me show you something. I've got raw, raw fucking catfish there. Oh. Then there's burnt shit there. What are you thinking, Kimmy? This is not happening. No! You, 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 get out! You're a fucking disgrace! Fuck! Hey, 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 touch. That's the raw bit. Yeah, I see it, Chef. I see it. Fucking disgrace! Get out! A complete service because of that fucking fish station. It was supposed to be Kimmy's time to shine. Like, oh, I don't fucking get it. I don't understand. Mm. You did too? Yeah. Fuck yeah, we did. And it's all my fault, because I'm from the fucking South, right? This is my first service that I fucked up this bad. This is the first service I fucked up. And I know there's a lot on my shoulders, because I'm from the South. Come on. Don't worry. We know you got hot. Even though I had a lot of pressure on me, I just feel like I've fought. And I'll fight to stay here, because I know I deserve to be here. After a horrific service, Chef Ramsay has sent Chef Scott. Where is everybody? Right here, Chef. To gather the teams. I need everybody right now downstairs. Let's go. Yes, yeah, Chef. I don't know what's going on. Everybody. Chef Ramsay might send every fucking one of us home. Yep. Go. Yep. Go. Go. Stay there. Stay there. Trust me. Scott, Andy, and I will finish the service. Let me tell you that. That was shocking. I can't take any more. Do me a big favor, each of you. Have a good chat. Based on tonight's service, come up with one individual from each team that should be leaving Hell's Kitchen tonight. And I hope to hell all of you are feeling like shit. Yes, Pathetic. Chef. All of you upstairs, get out of here. Dinner service was disgusting once again. It's just dumb mistakes. It's really frustrating. We need to figure out who's the weakest link on the team. That's the bottom line. Coming up raw chicken. Raw chicken. Twice. So honestly, between you and Brian today, I was going fucking ballistic. I wanted to get out of fucking dinner service because honestly, honestly, I've been put up so many times over the last couple of nights. Fuck face, shut the fuck up for a second. Why not? I just want to say yes. And I fucking sent up raw chicken. But I didn't get kicked out of the kitchen. Brian did. God damn it. While the blue team debates their weakest link, Christina. I'm voting for Kimmy. Has made a quick decision. We couldn't get any further in the night. I understand that, but I got oil splashed in my face. And did I leave? No, I kept cooking. <laughs> this is the first time I've messed up in service. And Barbie slacks off and fucks shit up all the time. She's not consistent. 
Barbie should be the next to go. I'm gonna vote for Barbie. She doesn't communicate with anybody, and she always brings us down, dude. Fucking shit sucks. No, that's half of it. I know Kimmy's not gonna vote for herself, but she knows she's wrong. Whatever. The catfish brought the kitchen to a screeching halt, not the kale. So I have no words for Kimmy, because I'm not leaving tonight. I'm sure of that. My thing is this, and I'm struggling with the fact that I have to think about like who I would want on my team, and I think that Kimmy's a better team player. But if I vote for Barbie, then we're in a fucking deadlock. I don't know what to do. After a dismal service where all of the chefs were ejected from the kitchen, Chef Ramsay has asked for just one nominee from each team. What a disappointment. On a night when we were doing simple southern cuisine, it all went south. Congratulations. Dana. Yes, Chef. Who is the Red Team's nominee? The Red Team's nominee is... Kimmy, Chef. Kimmy. Why? We couldn't move forward because the fish just halted everything. <sighs> Lucy. Justin. Yes, Chef. Who is it and why? Robin, Chef. She couldn't focus on the dish, and it was one raw chicken after the next raw chicken. It was just seemed like things were all over. Robin, Kimmy, step forward, please. Uh, Robin. Yes, Chef. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I'm not ready to go, Chef. I'm not ready to go. I lost focus because of the chicken. It fucked me tonight, Chef. The chicken didn't fuck you. You fucked the chicken. Kimmy, if there was one service that I really thought you were going to shine, it was tonight. What happened? The catfish, Chef. I just, I lost control of it but this is the first time I've been up for elimination. I've been fighting, I'm here to fight, and I don't think I deserve to go home, Chef. And do you think you're better than Robin? Yes, Chef. I think I have more passion than her, I have more drive than her, I have more fight back than her, and I think I can cook better than her. And do you think you're better than Kimmy? Yes, I do, Chef. I'm letting my head fuck me up, Chef. This is a competition not therapy. I know it's not therapy. I want to be your head chef. That's why I came here. I want to stay here so bad. I'm not ready to leave Hell's Kitchen yet, chef. I'm not. It's a very difficult decision for me. Let me tell you. And so far, the hardest one. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is... Robin. Back in line. Kimmy, give me your jacket. Young lady, you're not ready for Gordon Ramsay's steak. I'm sorry. Big heart. Love the passion, but you are not ready. Thank you. <sighs> Love you guys. Love you, Kimmy. I'm disappointed in myself. It was not my time to go by any means. Definitely Barbie should be going home right now. But, you know, she's been up five or six times. This is the first time I've ever been up there. And I have so much fight and I've learned so much. I thought I was going to the top. I thought I was going to be his head chef. And I guess I just didn't accomplish that. All of you, I am so pissed off. What a fucking embarrassment. I've got one important question for you all. Are you ready to fight back? Yes, chef! Show me and hurry up. Get out of here. I need to focus on myself now and protect myself because you know what? The only person I'd really trust here is me. Mac and cheese and fried chicken. I mean, do me a favor. Robin definitely has a lot to prove. She's got to bounce back next service. She's got to be flawless. Otherwise, she's going home. At this stage of the game, I'm not scared of anyone. I've had to watch my back since this entire competition started. I'm not going to stop now. 11 people down, six more people to go. As a woman from Memphis, tonight's Southern Cuisine menu should have been an easy walk in the park for Kimmy. But it turned out to be a difficult uphill battle. And that is why 
it was her time to go. Next time on Hell's Kitchen. Seven people left, seven people fighting for the same thing. As the numbers dwindle. Nowhere to hide now. What happens? A three-person team with Barbie? Miss. When close friends Christina and Dana. Barbie, is anybody home? Shut out Barbie. You need anything? No. <laughs> Burning. Okay, I'm good. Be nicer if it were just me and Christina. And while Robin... It's total boys club right now. ...looks to establish herself as a real contender. I'm gonna excel whatever station I'm on. Her team sees her... They told me to hold it in here. Who told me? My team did. They said this is a holding oven. No. What? No. ...as a liability. I have no idea how she made it this far. Who told her to put all the garnish in the oven? I didn't tell her that. You guys all did. Do not sandbag me like this. No, we did not. You better watch out because you are messing with the wrong crazy bitch. Then, in a bizarre twist... I've got an amazing dish to show you. Chef Ramsay reveals a surprise. Holy fuck. I don't know what's under there. That none of the chefs saw coming. This is real now. Find out who survives. Come on. As you... Chef Ramsay cranks up the heat. Bobby. How are we sucking so bad? Next time on a very intense. All of you, wake up. What is this? Oh, they're walking out. Don't fucking speak to me that way. Hell's Kitchen. Take your jacket off now and fuck off.